This video is all about fixing GPU VRAM and NVMe limits, reducing stutters, and boosting your gaming performance. If you've been struggling with micro stutters, inconsistent frame pacing, or low FPS on your PC or laptop, this guide will show you step-by-step -step how to get the most out of your system for smoother gameplay. We'll go through powerful tweaks and settings that can make a real difference in performance. Stick around until the end, and don't forget to subscribe for more advanced gaming optimization tips. Let's get started. In the first step, guys, we we are going to apply a powerful Windows Registry optimization that directly targets hidden GPU VRAM and NVMe related limits, which can cause stutters, unstable frame times, and unnecessary performance bottlenecks. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing Registry Editor, and launching it. Once it opens, copy the registry path provided in the description and paste it into the address bar at the top to instantly reach the correct GPU memory location. Inside this key, we will be creating or editing a few 32-bit D-word values that have a direct impact on GPU stability and VRAM behavior. If any of these values do not exist, simply right-click in the empty space, choose New, select D-word 32-bit value, and name it exactly as mentioned. First, create or modify TDR delay and set its value to 10. This increases the GPU timeout threshold, meaning Windows gives your graphics card more time to finish heavy tasks instead of instantly resetting the driver. This is extremely useful for modern games, high VRAM usage scenarios, and NVMe-based asset streaming, as it helps eliminate sudden stutters, black screens, or driver crashes. Next, create or edit HWCH mode and set it to two. This enables hardware-accelerated GPU scheduling, allowing the GPU to manage its own workload more directly, instead of relying heavily on the CPU. When supported by your hardware and drivers, this improves frame pacing, reduces latency, and makes overall gameplay feel noticeably smoother. After that, create or modify Disable Preemption and set its value to 1. This prevents Windows from aggressively interrupting GPU tasks, which helps keep VRAM usage stable and reduces micro stutters caused by constant task switching, especially in VRAM heavy and open world games. Once all values are set, close the registry editor and restart your PC so Windows can rebuild the GPU scheduling and memory management layer using the new configuration. If you ever want to revert these changes, you can simply delete the created values or set them back to zero. After doing advanced registry tweaks, there's one more thing that actually matters for performance and stability, your Windows performance and security updates. A lot of people are still using unactivated or cracked versions, which can cause updates to fail, features to break, and sometimes even random system issues. That's why I want to quickly mention Keys Worlds, especially right now during their Christmas special. Keys Worlds is a reliable platform where you can buy genuine OEM Windows and Office keys at a fraction of the retail price. These are fully functional licenses, perfect if you've built a new PC, upgraded hardware, or just want a clean, properly activated system. Right now, they're offering 25% off for Christmas. Just use the discount code VR25. It works for both Windows and Microsoft Office. Once you purchase, the key is delivered instantly by email. You get lifetime support, guaranteed updates, and you can pay safely using PayPal or a credit card. So, check out the Keys World's Christmas special using the link in the description. Now guys, let's optimize your paging file settings, which can help reduce lag, RAM stutters, and improve overall memory management during gaming or multitasking. The paging file acts as an extension of your physical RAM, providing Windows with extra space to handle memory-intensive tasks smoothly. To start, open the Windows search bar and type View Advanced System Settings, then select it. In the window that opens, navigate to the Advanced tab and under the Performance section, click Settings. In the next window, go to the Advanced tab again and under Virtual Memory, click Change. First, uncheck the box labeled Automatically Manage Paging File Size for all drives. Then select your C drive or the drive where Windows is installed. Choose Custom Size and will manually set the initial and maximum values in megabytes. Here's how to calculate the values clearly. Open the calculator app on Windows. Make sure it's in Standard Mode. 
Since we have 16 gigabytes of RAM, type 16 times 10 to the power of 24 and press equals. This converts your RAM from gigabytes to megabytes, giving 16,384 megabytes. This number will be your initial size for the paging file. Next, to get the maximum size, take that same number and multiply it by two. 16,384 times two equals 32,768 megabytes. This ensures that your paging file has enough space to handle memory spikes without being too small or unnecessarily large. Enter 16,384 for the initial size and 32,768 for the maximum size. Click Set, then OK, and restart your PC to apply the changes. After reboot, your system will have a properly sized paging file, resulting in smoother performance, fewer lag spikes, and more consistent frame pacing during gaming or multitasking. All right guys, in the next step, we're going to turn off Windows hidden VRAM compression layer, which can silently hurt performance on many systems. On mid-range or older graphics cards, it often introduces extra overhead that leads to stutters and uneven frame delivery. To disable it, open the Windows search bar, type PowerShell, then right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator. Once PowerShell is open, run the command that I've provided in the description. This command disables the forced VRAM compression behavior built into Windows. After applying this tweak, many users notice fewer micro stutters and a clear reduction in small frame hitches that happen when games constantly load and unload textures, especially in open world titles or large multiplayer maps. Frame pacing usually feels more consistent, and transitions between detailed areas can become smoother because the GPU is no longer wasting time compressing and decompressing VRAM data. If you ever want to undo this change, simply run the restore command that is also included in the description. So guys, in this next step, we are going to optimize NVMe performance by disabling storage write cache buffer flushing. On fast NVMe SSDs, this behavior can interrupt write performance and create unnecessary pauses during gameplay, especially in open world or texture heavy titles. To apply this tweak, right click on the start menu and open device manager. Once it opens, expand the disk drive section and find your NVMe SSD from the list. Double click on it to open the properties window, then switch to the policies tab where all write caching options are located. Here, first make sure that write caching on the device is enabled. After that, uncheck the option called Turn off Windows Write Cache Buffer Flushing on the device, then click OK to save the changes. By disabling this behavior, you allow the NVMe controller to handle write operations more efficiently without Windows constantly forcing flushes. In many cases, this also improves level loading smoothness and reduces those tiny freezes that happen during fast movement or area transitions. This tweak pairs extremely well with GPU and VRAM optimizations, helping unlock the full speed of your NVMe storage for smoother gaming overall. All right guys, in this next step, we will fine tune hidden indexing policies using the group policy editor. This reduces background indexing, lowers IO load, and helps prevent gaming stutters, especially on fast NVMe systems. By limiting this, Windows prioritizes real-time game data instead of background scans. Start by clicking on the Windows search bar, typing Group Policy Editor, and opening Edit Group Policy from the results. Once the editor opens, navigate to Computer Configuration, then Administrative Templates, then Windows Components, and finally, select Search. All the tweaks we need are located inside this same section, so you will not need to jump between different menus. First, locate the policy called Allow Indexing of Encrypted Files. Double-click on it, set the option to Disabled, then click Apply and OK. This stops Windows from indexing encrypted files, which offers no real benefit for gaming, but can still trigger background disk activity and slowdowns. Disabling it helps keep NVMe usage cleaner and more focused on performance critical tasks. Next, find do not allow locations on removable drives to be added to libraries. Open this policy, set it to enabled, then apply and confirm the change. 
This prevents Windows from watching external or removable drives for indexing, which reduces random background scans and avoids unnecessary I.O. interruptions that can affect smooth gameplay. Finally, open Prevent Indexing when running on battery power and set it to Enabled. Then click Apply and OK. Even if you are on a desktop PC, this policy helps keep Windows from dynamically adjusting indexing behavior based on power states, resulting in more consistent system performance during long gaming sessions. After applying all three policies, close the Group Policy Editor and restart your PC. Once the system boots back up, Windows will run with reduced indexing overhead, allowing your NVMe drive to fully focus on game streaming and loading tasks. The result is smoother gameplay, faster transitions, and fewer background-related performance drops while gaming. That's it, guys. Your system is now fully optimized for smoother gaming and fewer stutters. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more performance-boosting tips.